Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to grow dwarf beans. They don't take up a lot of space being a dwarf variety and they're very low maintenance. I'm going to show you how to grow handfuls of dwarf beans in only a few weeks. This is the bean variety I'm going to grow this year, Sonesta, I think that's pronounced. And this bed currently has carrot seedlings in it. I'm going to grow the dwarf beans at the back of the bed where I've created this pyramid of bamboo canes and string. Poke your finger down into the compost about three or five centimetres deep. Grab your beans and drop one into each hole. It's okay to have up to three plants per cane and it also covers you if you haven't got a very good germination rate. In this bed this is a mix of topsoil and general compost. Pop those back in the bag and they'll last another year yet. Yeah. Then cover over your seeds so we get good soil contact. This needs a really good water now, so really soak them. This will give them a good head start and it will also pull all of that compost in around it to make sure it stays nice and moist. So that's week one. Also make yourself a label Notice I use the number 22 on that label, that's the week of the year that these have been sown. I find it easier to compare two numbers rather than two dates. Okay, week two we have the start of germination and uh, a couple of little leaves on that first plant. Week three shows better germination, we now have germination on each of the canes. There's two for the middle one and one at either side. So we've got about four plants here. They're growing on week four, starting to grow up nicely and we've got a couple of true leaves on each plant now. We can also see the carrots are starting to grow quite tall. This will shade them but they will pick up so don't worry too much if you are growing them something else. Many more leaves on week five and week six shows that they're starting now to overtake the carrots in some places. Strong healthy green leaves and they're starting to grow up. Week 7 they really have overtaken the carrots now. And we can see the start of some flowers. Now is a good time to start using a liquid feed once a week if you haven't already. It will help the plant to grow the fruit. Week 8 those leaves are really starting to expand. Now big leaves to pick up as much sunlight as possible and I've tied them in. You may need to, you may not, but a simple loop of string around the cane and around the stem will hold them in place. And week 9 we can see the start of fruit. You can pick them at this stage. I like to leave them a bit longer, but you can pick them when they look like that. And we're already around to week 10. This is when I like to harvest, when you can see that kind of ribbed effect down the length of the, the bean. Harvesting will also encourage the plant to grow more fruit or more beans. It sends it into panic mode where it thinks it needs to live on through its children. Harvesting is easy, just give it a bit of a twist at the top. It should come away quite easily and just be careful not to damage the plant. I'm making that look a little bit tougher than it is, but there, that, there we are, that's more like it. It should just pop off at the, at the top of the bean. And now you can use these in any way you want. You can chop these up, pot them in stir fry. I like to put them in a casserole because it adds a bit of sweetness. But only harvest what you're going to use. If the pods start to dry out, then take those off too. There'll be a bit of an eyesore and they will be taking energy away from the plant. And there you go. Look at that. You grew those. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like uh, and do consider subscribing. It really helps me out. If you have any tips or advice for others, 
please drop them down in the comments so we can all learn and grow together. And here's some other videos here that you may be interested in. Happy growing!